Hey, hey, hey. Give you guys an update what's going on. I told everybody I was going to be filing a uh, complaint with the Attorney General's office. Well, I wrote up the complaint and I sent a copy. Uh, I emailed a copy to the city attorney, David Perryman, to uh, the chief of police, to the city manager, and to the second in command for the police department, Captain Bellany. Sent that yesterday. Uh, here's my complaint. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <coughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 pages long. <coughs> and it's about them not giving me, hey Bill, Bill, it's about them not giving me my uh, open records request. And in the open records request, uh, it states a public body must provide prompt reasonable access to records, but must establish reasonable pro reasonable process which protect the integrity and organization of its records and to prevent excessive uh, dis dispersion of the essential function. Okay. Law enforcement records disclosures. That's Title 51, subsection 24A.8. Law enforcement agencies shall make available for public inspection if kept the following records. An, act, uh, an arrest description including the name, date of birth, address, race, sex, physical description, and or occupation of the arrestee. Facts concerning the arrest included, or including the the cause of the arrest and the name of the arresting officers. Conviction information, including the name of, the per, uh, of any person convicted of a crime or offense. Disposition of all warrants, including orders signed by the judge uh, of any court commanding a law enforcement officer to arrest a particular person. They also must give radio logs, including the chronic, chronological listing of the calls dispatched. Section B, uh, except for the records listed in subsequent A, or subsection A of this section, and those made open by the by other state or local laws, law enforcement agencies may deny access to law enforcement records except where a court finds that the public interest uh, that the public interest or the interest of an individual outweighs the reason for denial nothing in nothing contained in this section imposes any new record keeping or requirements law uh, for law enforcement okay one more section i wanted to read to you guys Title 51, subsection 24A.17, violations, penalties, and civil liability. Any public office who willfully violates any uh, portion or any provision of the Oklahoma Open Records Request Act upon conviction shall be guilty of a misdemeanor and shall be punished by a fine not exceeding $500 or by imprisonment in a county jail 
for a period not to exceed one year or by both such as fine and imprisonment. So it is a, I mean, there's a criminal, uh, criminal liability for them not to uh, disclose this to, uh, or give me my open records request. Now I've been doing these open records requests since March of last year and I still haven't got it. So I sent a copy of that to all of them last night and this afternoon lo and behold i received a freaking email from the uh david perryman their city attorney mr grants i need to provide you with an update on your unique open records request for all body cam videos of captain bellany officer haynes from september 1st through september 25th 2019 and let you know how that will be handled to make the request more economical to you. I have been informed that there are more than 795.51 uh, minutes uh, for raw video con uh, converted to uh, converted by the request or covered by the request before uh, the required redactions of minors faces and the uh, interiors of private residents. You had asserted that you believe that the request should not uh, that that the request should not or should be at no charge because it was for news publications. Per our prior conversation, there is no exceptions that would allow records to be produced free of charge to a private individual. I never asked them uh, to give me the r records free. Okay, uh, see the Blanchard Police Department is coordinating billing for the open records response through the Blanchard City Hall. It is my understanding that the Police Department has estimated that the review, redaction, and production of the requested videos when totally completed will take in, ex in excess of eight hours and could take substantially more since the amount of raw footage is over 13.25 uh, hours. The city of Blanchard has informed me that the cost of the research and processing is $4 per quarter hour plus the cost of, of media. I don't know what the cost of media has to do with anything. Uh, the city of Blanchard is reviewing ways to get the video to you without having to place it on media since the use of media would incur additional costs unless the the procedure or produced videos will be too large the Blanchard Police Department has determined that the uh, that the produced videos will most economically be uploaded to the website www.evidence.com and will be available for you to download from that location if it is not too large when when an upload attempt is made you will be forwarded information to the uh, facilities uh, to, fa to facilitate a download. Consequently, a deposit of $128 for eight hours of research at $4 per quarter hour uh, should be forwarded to the Blanchard City Hall uh, to the attention of the finance department with a notation that is uh, that is, is the deposit for the Kenneth Grant's open records request. I have been informed that the city of Blanchard is preparing an invoice for the deposit and I will forward that to you when I receive it. Uh, if, the, if the time needed to search, redact, and produce uh, is greater than eight hours, you will be billed an additional, an additional amount. If the time needed to search, redact, and produce is less than eight hours, you will receive a refund. I, uh, if www evidence.com cannot use can cannot be used due to the size of the produced video there will be an additional charge for the media used to provide it let me know when you have remitted the deposit to the city of Blanchard uh, I do not recall you making any open records request regarding the result of an investigation I made that request four times I'm gonna make it again today that's what I'm here to do uh, and to pay that $128.
please provide a copy of that request or refresh my memory. And that was from uh, David L. Perryman. Now, David L. Perryman, he is a, uh, he's in the House of Representatives also. So, he, he's knowingly and willingly violating the law. So, we're going to go in here and we're going to pay for this and make another open records request also. So, let's go get her done. And I've put a link to my PayPal account. If anybody wants to help me out with these costs, that'd be great. If not, that's great too. But here we go. Let's go get this done. And then we're gonna go do another open records request over at uh, the police department. What? You gotta be kidding me. I can't even get in here to do this. All right guys, I need to end this video and uh, make a phone call. So, I'll be back.